I'm Abby Gelman, a chef and registered dietitian with Culinary Nutrition Cuisine. And I'm registered dietitian and chef Julie Harrington. Today we're making a miso vinaigrette paired with a spinach salad with some herbs and corn and cherry tomatoes. So to start with our vinaigrette, you always need an acid and a base. So our base is going to be our olive oil. And you see that it's already in a mason jar. Making your vinaigrettes in a mason jar is so helpful because you can make it and then store it right in that same mason jar, preventing you from one more dish to wash. So our base being our olive oil is going to help absorb our fat soluble vitamins in our salad. We are adding some white wine vinegar as our acid. Always be mindful when you're choosing your acids based on the colors of your dish. If we had a balsamic vinaigrette, it will kind of turn out bright, vibrant colors of our vegetables a little muddy. We also have a shallot. You can always add some garlic here if you wanted to, or some onions or some um, scallions as well. We have a really grainy mustard. This adds some really great texture to the dish. And then our star of our dish is going to be our miso. Miso is a fermented bean, and this one is a fermented organic brown rice and soybean. So you get the benefits of both. So this is a little bit of a lighter miso, and miso is really rich in probiotics. Probiotics are great for gut health. It creates a really healthy environment for our guts. And then that adds a little bit of a salty flavor along with our soy sauce, so we don't even need any salt for this recipe. So all of our dressing ingredients went right into our mason jar, and you just give it a little shake, and it's done. Okay, so we're gonna pair our delicious miso vinaigrette with a salad. So for the purposes of today, we have baby spinach. You can use whatever kind of greens you like. We also have cherry tomatoes that we've cut in half, different colors. So one of the other things that's really important with gut health is prebiotics in addition to the probiotics. So prebiotics is the soluble fiber or resistant starches that feed the probiotic bacteria in your gut. So we're gonna give them plenty of good fruits and vegetables and things every day in a plant-based way that will feed that probiotic. So for our purposes here, we have the spinach, we have the tomatoes, we have some corn that's gonna go into this as well. And this is some Parmesan cheese we're gonna dump in there as well. If you're dairy free, you don't need to add the cheese. And if you want that same Parmesan kind of flavor, you can always add nutritional yeast. So we're gonna mix it around a little bit. And then one other thing that we like to do with our salad is add in herbs. It adds different flavors, dimensions, and depth to the salad. Today we have parsley, which I'm going to chop in a minute. And we also have basil. So I'm gonna give Julie the basil. She's gonna pick off these beautiful leaves. So we have your flat parsley. There's also curly parsley, but we like the flat. You can break it off and have it remain in these full pieces and add it to your salad that way. You can also chop it and have it mix a little more thoroughly in with the greens. If you have something like parsley and the sticks are not woody, they're pretty thin, you can eat these also. So these stems here are not woody, so we can cut these and include them in our salad. Also with cilantro, you should definitely keep the stems in there. The woodier ends of the stems that are a little less desirable for texture, save those two though, because that always can turn into a really great pesto. Okay, so I just rough chopped it. Doesn't have to be pretty. You're just gonna make it right for your salad. I'm gonna add it right in there. And mix it around and then we're gonna add in some basil as well. So our basil, as you see, I pulled all the leaves, these big, nice leaves, and it's easiest if you stack them on top of each other and then you roll them. This is known as a chiffonade. It means ribbon-like slices. So I have a nice roll here. I'm just gonna run my knife quickly through it. And we have some beautiful ribbon-like slices that we're gonna add right into our salad beautiful. as well. What we're gonna do next is we'll add some of this gorgeous miso vinaigrette to it. We'll dress it and then it's ready to go. And I always say that a little dressing goes a long way. So you can add a little bit, toss it together, taste it, and then you can always adjust. Because once you overdress it, you really can't take it away. One other thing while Julie is dressing the salad is with the miso and the vinaigrette, it's raw. We left that miso raw, which means those probiotics 
are not damaged in any way. Sometimes if you heat up the miso, like in a miso soup. Exactly, or like a glaze or a marinade. These are all really great for you, but when you heat them up, that damages the probiotic. This looks beautiful. Mm. I'm Abby, chef and registered dietitian from Culinary Nutrition Cuisine. And I'm Julie Harrington, registered dietitian and chef. And this is our miso vinaigrette with tomato corn salad. Enjoy. Enjoy.